Okay, we're here, the Medford Girls Lacrosse game. We're here with junior captain Gianna Scott Pelly, goaltender. You know, you guys are playing for mental health awareness. So talk a little bit about how you and your teammates are there for each other when it comes to mental health and maybe making sure that, you know, everyone's okay. Well, being on a team is really important and having your teammates with you and always like being there for each other is one of the best things that a team can have. And spreading awareness in like this special month is perfect to have with a great group of girls, always being there for each other and having each other like to lean back on. Yeah, it's really exciting to play Malden last year, especially because we lost to them last year and it was a really hard fought game. So it's really nice to be out here to be able to play them again. And we have a really good team, strong attack, strong defense, strong goalie. So definitely excited to hopefully win. Mental health in athletes is like not discussed as much as it should be, and I think this is a really great way to bring awareness to it. And especially seeing Medford do this for like the first time in a long time, I haven't seen this done in a while. And I think Coach Meg is doing a great job, and Coach Mary doing this for the program and bringing awareness to the GBL and everyone. Yeah. Awesome. Well, this team is a really supportive group of girls, and I think it's really comforting to know that we have each other to lean on. And mental health is just such an important topic, and you know, especially for student athletes who are undergoing a lot of stress, it's so good to have each other. And this group of girls specifically, it's a really special group. We're here with Method High girls lacrosse coach Megan Olson. Megan, we're here. Mental health awareness game today. I know you put a lot of work into this. Talk about you know the planning of this event and obviously playing Malden, your biggest rival in the GBL. You talk about a special day this is for you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first off, um, it's a GBL competition. Right now, we're three and one in the GBL. And we're playing Malden. We faced already. We're one and zero with them. They beat us in the GBL last year, and that was uh, upsetting for us to lose that game. And coming out for revenge this year against them and just in the GBL. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, so we wanted to raise awareness for something. So we chose mental health because of May, but also because it's really important to student athletes. Student athletes, they don't want to appear weak, right? We talk about grit and hard work all the time, um, but sometimes the mental health aspect gets overlooked. So we're here today to raise awareness and kind of end the stigma. Um, back of our shirts say it's okay to not be okay. It's important for student athletes to grow and learn things like teamwork and, and competition and work ethic, but it's also important to know when you need to put mental health first. Well, we're excited. Good luck today. You know, Mom is a big guy. Here we go. Here we go. Go thanks. Um, so I think it's important for like all of us to show our support to anybody who really needs it at this point in time. Hi, my name is Keegan. I do attack in midfield. My name is Sadie. I play midfield. Hi, my name is Verica and I play attack. Hi, my name is Zoe and I play midfield. Um, I think it's really important to be aware of mental health, especially when we're talking about sports because often it's like ignored. And part of doing this whole event is to show that like it's really like okay not to be okay. And that's why we have it on the back of our shirts. Um, we like to check in before practice starts, the usual hello, the just really see how you're doing. Coach likes to see like how school went and if we had any troubles there. And we all just try to like embrace everyone and let them be themselves. Well, as someone who has struggled with mental illness in the past, I think this game is really important to bringing awareness to that. And my friends have also struggled, and I think it's I think it's a great thing that we're doing. Just being able to be there for people when they need it the most, um, like no matter what, is the most important, I think. I'm Mary Roach. I'm the assistant girls lacrosse coach. All right, so talk about the season so far. I mean, you're about probably midway through. I mean, how's it been going? What do you have coming up for the rest of the season, and how's it look? Yeah, absolutely. I'm
And early on in the season, we had a big focus on building rapport uh, with our team and making sure the girls made connections and trusted their upperclassmen. Um, you know, we had the opportunity to have some seventh and eighth graders join the program. Um, so we really put, you know, a lot of focus on being role models out on the field and having that translate um, into the game. So we've seen a lot of leadership from our upperclassmen. Um, we have a big junior class, so that's something that we're excited for next year. And then on defense, we have Emily McKenna, Elena Molly, and in the goal, Jamie. Yeah! We saw them a few weeks ago, and we let them in too close. Today, it's about just winding in the gap. Okay? Control 50 50 balls, communicate. And the ball, the transition from the other night, that's what we want to see today. It's hot, so you don't want to be running, you want to move the ball quick. If you need subs, communicate early, not when you're dying. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah.